These speed bumps have been the center of much public debate. However, authorities at the Antigua and Barbuda Transport Board say they have been effective. Antigua and Barbuda Transport Board Road Markings and Maintenance Supervisor Sean King says the goal was to deal with speeding in the communities. We found that a lot of traffic has moved from the major roads onto the secondary roads. This is because of the, influx, the large influx of vehicles we have on the roads now. The speed bumps, he says, are placed strategically to prevent speeding in key areas such as where schools and clinics are located. They're designed to bring you from 40 to 50 miles per hour to a speed of five, two to five miles per hour, and they're very effective in doing so. What we've done is that we brought the bumps a bit closer, okay? So it basically stops you from accelerating from one bump to the other bump. King tells ABS, the speed bumps are durable enough to last for five to seven years. However, heavy-duty vehicles are posing a major problem. Those vehicles tend to pull the, the, the speed bumps and, and kind of rip them off the ground. Right. So in that event, we have to go and um, do some maintenance work on them every so often. Another challenge, he says, is persons vandalizing the speed bumps. King laments they have seen evidence of attempts to pry them off the roads. However, he says the department remains undeterred. Since we started implementing our installing the speed bumps, we've, we've received a lot, a lot of complaints, but also we've, we've received a lot more praises than complaints. We have a lot of persons in the community thanking us a lot for, for, the, for the job well done. He also says plans are in place to address other concerns of the public. The first phase of the project was to install the speed bumps. The second phase will begin this year. The second phase of the project would be to implement, implement a signage project, which should, which should be coming on stream shortly. King says should you see a speed bump in need of repair or communities in need of an additional one, contact 4804600. Rakib Aparis reporting for ABS News.